Hey everyone, Equinoct here, and welcome to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light. Now, I just felt like playing the story mode to Smash Bros. because I thought it was pretty fun. It's not highly talked about anymore, but at the time it looked fantastic. Like the cinematic cutscenes, the, the idea of encountering other spirits in the form of fighters that are already in the roster, it, I thought it was pretty well done. Granted, Smash Brothers Melee's adventure mode is a lot more in-depth with platforming and actually adventuring, but I still think this one's pretty fun, so I wanted to do a playthrough of it. Hmm. I'm a pretty okay skill level, so why not normal? I'm kind of a wuss when it comes to super hard difficulties. Don't let a single one get away. Let's see, like this. This looks epic. Ooh. We'll each need to take down about ten. Stow your fear. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will. Wow, hearing Marth in English and Zelda talking at all is... Uh, this needs to be a movie. And I know it's only a coincidence, but this came out around the time Avengers came out. Um, what was it? Uh, Infinity War. So the whole idea of a huge chunk of the main cast just dying seemed to be a trend there for a time. It is pretty jarring to think like everyone you knew and love in a movie is just dead for the continuation of the franchise until somehow they're not. Ooh. We never did we ever really learn what Galim is? Like the Lord of Light, yeah, but why did he just suddenly decide to engulf everyone? I guess it doesn't matter. There's a bad guy, we stop him. That's the deal. Ah, uh, yes, Kirby. Of course the only survivor would be the adorable little ball of God destruction. Seriously, have you guys played any of the Kirby games? The final boss is always like this huge demonic god and Kirby can just take it out no problem. All for the sake of cake. Is it strange that I find that liquid delicious? It looks like melted cheese. Okay, so Galim is forcing spirits into the bodies of fighters. But 
but to what end goal, I wonder? Of course, these are meant for us to fight against. I get that. I get the logistics of the creative process with it, but as far as the story of the villain, I'm having a hard time putting that together. But maybe I'm just overthinking it. All right. Kirby on a mountain. This map is pretty big and there's more to it. So if I decide to make this a full playthrough, this could take a while. Yes, I know all of this. Let's fight the Smoky Prog. Do I have any spirits? Okay, good. It, I was thinking because I started a new game, I would be completely out of spirits. But they carry over from the game as a whole. Ready? Go! Ooh. I probably should have paid more attention to what the spirits did. I started off with 30% damage. And the fact that I don't play as Kirby a lot doesn't help. Victory! Hi! And it'll probably be a while before I unlock Ness or Zelda as playable in here. And those are the two I'm best with. Yes, yes. Aw, Eevee. I'm just hitting randomly apply spirits. Just give me whatever. Okay, that was fun. Move, Yoshi! I do like the spirit setup. How they have a blue, a yellow, and a red Yoshi for the Eevee spirits because of Eevee's evolutions. There is a thought process behind how every spirit fight is set up, and I really like that. Celeste. Down specials. Just stay down. Let it happen. I was worried there for a second. I thought I went down too far. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway. Okay. Ooh. Time to bring on the big boy. I'll just go ahead and fight. I don't need to worry about the spirits. Ready? Go! Face him. There we go. I think I'll stick with Kirby. I think I'm more in tuned with him than I am with Mario. Go 
Guardian. Uh, the Guardian reminds me. I'm so excited for the new Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity game. Hmm. I should probably play Breath of the Wild first. Get, or perhaps I should play Age of Calamity first and then Breath of the Wild since it's a prequel to it. Ugh. So many games, so little system. All right, at a crossroad. Marth, Sheik, and Villager. Okay. Uh, can't really see where. Whatever leads. Hmm. Who am I better with? I think I'm gonna go with Sheik. Alrighty. Let's take him down. Ready? Go! Talk to the foot! Ooh, okay, that was slick. Hot potato! Ah! He actually played it. Wow, he... Sheik is... Okay. Sheik is being a real ninja right now. All slick and sly. With this... Gorgeous hair and his one red eye. And yes, I know, technically Sheik is female, but... I don't know. I, feel, I always feel the need to refer to Sheik with he, him pronouns, because that's what they did in Ocarina of Time, when he uh, made an appearance. And I know it said disguise and all, but... I still consider the identity of Sheik separate from that of the Princess Zelda. Even though they're the same people. Again, I may be overthinking it, but that's just how I roll. Hmm. I was thinking, did this lead up into the mountains? Because I thought Villager did. Sonic music, all unnecessarily rocky, part of his charm. Oh shit, I just noticed stamina. Gotta watch my hit level. I kill you with a flower. That is a very Kirby way to kill someone. Just throw a flower at them. I'll do a few more before calling it an episode. Dr. Krygor. Rabbit. Okay, I can see what's up here, so let's go. The enemy starts the battle with a ray gun. Appropriate. Ah. How dare you blast at me. Ooh. Maybe I should have swapped a Sheik. Since Sheik is faster. And more agile. But then again... 
Kirby! Yeah. Yeah. Taste the fungus! Ew. That sounded cooler in my head. Die already! Ooh. Stop it with your hipping and hopping. Oh my gosh. Rabbit Mario! Oh my gosh. This is getting... There we go. Oi. Okay. Did I say a few more? I meant one more. Alright. Let's go ahead and save and... I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. Later.